Hey everyone, I'm Double Archangel, welcome to my channel. This is the third episode of my tutorial series. So far, we have gone through compositions in the first episode. Basic compositions, how to make them and how to make some a small amount of pictures becoming one super picture. And overlays, those super helpful things called overlays. That helps us as an artist making our Photoshop manipulation so freaking much different at least, if not better. In my opinion, I make things better with them. Anyway, if you haven't checked that video out, check the card. This episode we're gonna go through warping, different kind of warping techniques and all the tools that you use for warping in photo manipulation, Photoshop. Anyway, if you like my videos and my content, you can find more on double underscore art angel on Instagram or double arch angel on the wine tart. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the thumbs up for these videos and share with others. Comment down below whatever you want, hopefully related to the video. It would make me super happy to be able to go through your guys' comment and thank you so much for already so much support. And stay tuned for more. And we're gonna do this by making he is called Rockman nowadays. But back in the day when I was a little boy, he was called Mega Man. So let's go make Mega Man. Anyway, let's begin. guys we are back at the third tutorial video and this time I did not forget to unmute the mic so you should be able to hear me live anyway we start to do this artwork today and uh, just to give some reference Mega Man or Rock Man as he's called today or the Japanese version of his name I think is this guy and this guy well animated so we are gonna trademark realistify him so this guy is obviously trademarked by Capcom but we are gonna do a new series in this new series being this tutorial series is gonna branch out to in real life fi my new series coming up uh, later this year. So E I R L F I, and that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna basically make him a photo manipulation version of this guy. Okay, so after we are done with these buildings that I have masked out, I will add a building and I have these futuristic buildings and we will go through the first thing that is relevant for this tutorial. So I'm gonna put this cyberpunk building inside here, right above this place here. But as you can see, it's not fitting with the picture, we're gonna rasterize this layer. Edit and perspective warp is the first warp that we are going through. So, this tool works as a 3D mesh. We need this uh, bottom, so I'm gonna align these points so that they go about right place of building's foundation. And then we need two sides and I'm making this one one of the sides and we are gonna connect these dots with the back side and then we have this third side also connected so this is basically how we think that the building is situated right now so a thumb rule when using this is to find straight lines on the on the model 
So I'm using this back straight line right here and going with the side element also of it. And after this we're gonna press this, this button and move the mesh to desired place. Then just find straight lines in the background picture and play around until you are satisfied. Last but not least, we are masking out things that we do not need with a soft brush. Let's turn this layer's opacity down a little so we can see what we have here to work with. And then we're gonna mask out these things. Now, this part of the picture doesn't look right because it doesn't have pixels, right? So, we're gonna add those. Now we see it has done this fold over here, so we're gonna repair that by just simply adding a layer above and using the clone stamp tool and now to make it look like it actually is a part of this picture, we're gonna erase stuff behind it, so group this, hide it and take this building away. I'm gonna do this off camera, be right back. Okay, so now when we're done with the building and I showed you how to use the perspective warp tool, we're gonna make the actual subject, so Mega Man. I'm gonna do this by adding a layer that I make a smart object and then we click into the smart object, okay? And so uh, let's bring this in the same and then we're taking this reference picture. So this is the dude that we are trying to make, right? And, and now I'm gonna show you how to use a second warp tool called warp and it basically has these meshes, right? And you can flip around using these meshes and these, these points here. And by holding the control key, you can add mesh uh, lines. And by being in the far, like in one of the edges, upper, lower, left or right, you can add just one row of meshes that makes a new mesh. And to control it, you add a row where you want your object to uh, stay as is. So for now, example, uh, I can drag this mesh to make it a little bigger and also use these points to change the form however I want and like this, make his hand subtly distorted. Now I will add one more mesh here uh, to make it a little smaller. Like So you begin by right clicking with the mouse free transform. You also always have to uh, see that the object is a smart object or rasterized, but smart objects you can uh, change afterwards. Anyway, then you choose the warp tool. Now you have the same meshes as you just added and you can choose here on split the mesh if you want to. By choosing a, a point and pressing delete, you can take away the mesh that you just added. You can also use these pre-made meshes or have the grid be, I usually have it three by three, but, and, and then you can uh, change freely how to do this. Okay, so now we have uh, the base done and I'm coming to the next warping tool being Puppet Warp. So, so basically in underneath edit we have Puppet Warp, okay? And there's, there are two ways to use Puppet Warp. The first one is adding these points wherever there is a joint, right? Also, the points keep him in place. So, uh, we'll add one in the middle of the head, one about in the torso, one as a knee joint and First you click the point, then you hold ALT. If you click the point now, it will clip it away. But if you drag the mouse a little, you get this round circle thing. And with that, 
you can basically rotate the joint and that's what I'm doing now I'm rotating his arm uh, so that it's as it should be in the picture um, holding your left mouse button on the joint and just dragging it drags the whole thing I want this leg to be in front of this leg and we can't do it in this layer so this is why I made a smart object of him so we're gonna double click the smart object and go inside search for the leg I'm gonna make this also convert to a smart object and then again puppet warp this and add here and just try to rotate zoom in first and then do it again so warp and I'm gonna add a grid line just here at this point where his leg ends this and using this point here of interest I'm gonna bend I'm just gonna warp this so that it looks good Okay, so what I'm now, now about to do is uh, a trick that I learned from many productions. And that's basically, you use this shape, right? Make a normal rectangle and then you make it a smart object. After this, take down a little the opacity so you can see what you're working with, like that. And then you start to warp it by pressing your right mouse button, free transform and warp. And, and then we're just gonna warp it so that it follows this guy's skin, right? And I'm gonna add these meshes wherever they are needed. Pants, panties, trousers, boxers, whatever, slugs. Um, and then do the same thing with the other side. And uh, using anatomy to our advantage, adding one of these because I want the muscles a little to show, so... Now, the neat thing with this is, let's add back the opacity up. We click us inside the smart object and then we take a texture. I'm gonna use this blue canvas that I have and add it here in several, uh, several copies. This and then, now we should have, yup. The textures are from Envato Elements by the way. So that's a shape warp, how you make something, well basically you can change this rectangle uh, just here as a flat shape and it will change on the layer that is warped to the warped shape. So we can add brushes. So we're gonna use a brush and uh, I will go through what brushes are in my next tutorial. In that tutorial I will go more in depth to uh, what, what types of brushes there is and what kind of sites you get free brushes from. Basically with the help of brushes uh, that aren't the ones that are general from Photoshop. So so of the actual shape but not, not quite precise and after this I would use the puppet, puppet warp tool but this time around instead of uh, rotating joints we're gonna add one point over here so it stays over here also we have this lower edge that also will stay pretty much in place so let's add one point there too then we're gonna add one over here in this edge of this object and start dragging so that we have the thumb in place. Add one more and drag again. Add one to the edge and basically add as many points as we think we need in the edges so that we can make the shapes that we want. This is probably good enough so we're gonna just simply mask out the rest of the shape. We have used free transform, we have used perspective warp, we have used puppet warp and we have used the normal warp. So distortions uh, won't be a part of this tutorial. This was just about warping and uh, well, this is basically it. So I hope you learned something and uh, I will fix this one and I catch you in the outro. Yeah.
that's it. That's all of the warping techniques. Now I will in a time lapse finish this off and well probably voice over a recap. So what I find uh, the most intriguing and uh, nice with the warping tool is uh, the fact that you can make whatever unique thing you want with that help. So if, if you just know how to use it, like this tutorial, I really hope it helped you and uh, you can use basically any stock uh, that is uh, on in the libraries and warp it in the satisfaction of your own picture. It will be a totally unique experience and a totally unique picture that no one else has made. Anyway, thank you again for watching my tutorial. I'm Double Art Angel and uh, I see you and catch you in the next one.